It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You have the address? Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, that's my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah, it means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Message from Captain Donnelly, Detective. Your presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A new letter from the Dahlia killer has been found. Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? May as well follow the trail. Antonia. Huh. Same as the library card. Mrs. A. Maldonado. Could it be Antonia Maldonado? The trail points up. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him? We've closed the case. Ah, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway, but doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting those. I'm sure. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. What do you need from me? This is your crime scene. Do your thing. Looks like this lady got the works, Detective. You better get on with it. I've only seen what's left of her. I can't help you any. They're waiting on the investigators, Detective. There's some sick people in this town. Go through, you'll see. You disturb me when I'm working, you're going to get lousy shots. All right? I'll take the pictures, you do whatever the hell it is you do. Detectives? Brothers, Pinker? Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Oh, for Christ's sake. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Kiss the blood, BD. The lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. I would rather we discuss this later, Phelps. Leave me to do my job, detective. I need to get back to it, Phelps. Can we discuss this later? I should get back to my beat, detective. Phelps, you'll want to come and take a look at this. I'm not kidding, Phelps. Come see. Now. Phelps, you mind coming here and doing your job for a second? Here, Phelps, check this out. You get the feeling there could be more of this stuff around? You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. Antonia. It's a start. The 
the proximity to the scene, and plus the bloodstains, no way is this coincidence. He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. We got a new M.O. I told you it wasn't our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. That's got to be a code or a cipher. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? On it goes. Where are you taking us? Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. She was only 21 years old. Son of a bitch wants her identified. Forget the other broads. Right now we have clear orders. Let's get back out to the crime scene. What's the big rush? We need to get back to the scene and do things properly. The place is secure. Get the scoop from Carruthers. Don't start, okay? Save your theories. Just check out the body, and then we'll make a search. Keep looking, Phelps. We get enough, and we can start retracing the killer's steps. A nosy old hag? Ha! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth. How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Wait just a moment! I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wop your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Will you look at that? Someone's turned the place over. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. Okay, we have an address. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Let's go talk to her. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. The back window was broken. It's happened a number of times. The man out back uses his lawnmower, and I'm afraid it picks up stones. He's always paid for the damage. The window's broken. The room's been tossed. You seem like the type of landlady who notices everything that happens under her roof. What gives? Don't take that tone of voice with me, young man. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. You should be ashamed of yourself talking to me like that. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? 
She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Come on, Mrs. Lepenty, you must have some idea. Maybe a movie, maybe church. She was a very religious girl. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Tell me the truth. You know where she went and why she went there. You best keep your attitude under control, young man. You have some proof of what you're saying. I have had a great shock, and I am deeply disappointed in you. I don't think I want to answer any more questions. Antonia and her husband were estranged. Yes, she moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring. She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Can you describe the necklace? An icon of Our Lady of Guadalupe. It's quite beautiful. I let Antonia hang a painting of her there on the wall. We didn't find any jewelry upstairs. You haven't pocketed any evidence, have you? That's outrageous! Are you accusing me of theft? What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. What kind of person do you think I am, Detective? I would never conceal anything that might help you find poor Antonia's killer. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? Oh, she never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was seventeen. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side, but a good girl. She ever bring anyone else home? No, she did not. What kind of place do you think I'm running here? I think this whole thing was a put-up job. You heard about Antonia over the radio, and you made it look like a break-in so you could lift some of her things. And you have an ounce of proof for that scurrilous allegation? You're supposed to be doing the Lord's work in tracking down a killer. But instead, you come in here and you abuse an old woman. You should take a long, hard look at yourself, young man. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We're hunting a killer, madam. I would have expected a little more cooperation. So Antonia's necklace would match this image pretty closely. You owe it to Antonia to hear me out. I'm sorry, but if you're done, I have a house to clean. Antonia was so innocent, detective. Catch this killer. Let's check that library card address. See where our dead lady comes from. We need to know what our dead girl was like while she was still breathing. Phelps, back to the apartment. Looks like one of those boarding house setups. People might have seen her come and go. Let's go check it out. We need to search her room, Phelps. See what she left behind. The landlady looks like she means business. We'll be wanting her statement. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the El Dorado bar. Just picked fruit market. That's where Antonia went to call for a cab last night. Just picked. Fruit market, suppliers to the El Dorado. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. Maldonado is in apartment three o four. Why aren't we going in the front? There's no point in being sneaky if we're just going to kick the door in. 
Ah, damn it. We need to go around to the front. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. I got a hundred pounds on your wife, pal. Ain't gonna be so easy. Come quietly, Mr. Maldonado. Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I'd kill my own wife? Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. No more. I've had enough. You can go to hell for all I care. Don't you walk away from me now, asshole. I got nothing to say to you. You gonna pay for that door, asshole? We should get the whole place of going over, then talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. This will take some explaining. The El Dorado just picked fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. I know nothing more about their business. Hey, sorry about that. I I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Was that all you needed, Detective? Hello? LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Haven't we talked enough already? I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. Well-executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. No good. There's nobody here. Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. KGPL, 11 King, over. 11 K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. 11K, en route. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? The fucking case just gnaws away at your gut. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted on the fucking sidewalk. I've said it right from the start. We should come down hard on the husband. Let's check his place out. Back to Angel's joint, Phelps. I can guarantee we can make him cop to the whole thing. No need to be gentle with a prime suspect. Kick down the fucking door. Search the place. Just one solid piece of evidence and this is done. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi. He's toast. Maniac! Help! God damn it, it's the same fucking cop! What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. 
Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? Please. Yeah, we'll get to the market and the guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off into the night. This case will be shut like all the others. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. I don't have time for this, detective. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the fares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Heap upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis, I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Can we discuss this later? I have nothing more to say, detective. Keep me posted on your case. I need to get back to mine. You need to get on with your case, but keep me updated. Your suspect is in interview, too. What the hell do you want from me now? Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight maybe. She didn't stay long. What time did she leave? Maybe one o'clock. So if you didn't kill your wife, who did? You better come up with something, Angel. This doesn't look good. Fuck you. I loved my wife. You're good, kid. You murder your wife and you just sit there as cool as a cucumber. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. I loved my wife. I didn't kill her. And what you think doesn't mean shit. We have a witness who confirms that you are arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. You deny killing your wife? Of course I deny it. Why would I kill my woman? You didn't want anyone else to have her. You didn't like the idea of other men fucking your wife, them slipping it to her, the idea that she might like it. Vete tomar por culo! Easy there, angel boy. Ease it back or not. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. She was my wife. Things got bad sometimes. But nothing 
would have made me want her dead. Nothing in the world. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. And she ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. We're typing the blood, Angel. It won't look good if it matches your wife. As God is my witness, I didn't kill her! Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolito, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had to sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Orange Street downtown. You're lying through your teeth. You killed her and your brother's in on it. You don't know what you're saying. Why would I do that? Hippolito's my brother. But he would never lie for me about killing Antonia. He knows he'd go to hell for that. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Looks like somebody broke into her room and stole her things there, too. Why'd you do it, Angel? What the hell are you talking about? I was home with Hippolito. I think you killed her, stripped the body of jewelry, and then went back to her apartment for the bracelet. You should get a better hat. The sun is getting to your head. I've told you the truth. You don't believe me? You can go to hell. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Keep it to yourself, kid. Let it eat away at you like poison. You're going back into a cell. We'll be waiting when you're ready to spill your guts. Are you taking my wife's murder seriously? Quit staring at me like that. You heard the call. Put your foot down. Skipper doesn't like to be kept waiting. We got called to Central, Phelps. We can't leave until we're done there. Come on. If the brass are handling Dahlia evidence, they'll have it locked up in the tech services dungeon. Let's go. Are you ready? We're going to let this son of a bitch Maldonado have it. Let's get in there. Let me get back to work, detective. They're waiting down in tech services, Phelps. We going to go downstairs and see Donnelly or what? What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. So what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. But she was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. And divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. 
You know, the temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Did she leave with anyone? No. She wanted a cab, but my payphone ain't working, so I couldn't call her one. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. That's a lie. She left well before closing. You fed her booze and took her home yourself. Whoa, hold up. Look, I run a bar, okay? I don't know what you're getting mad at me for. No call to point the finger like that. I'm being cooperative, a good citizen. How about cutting me some slack? Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. So you let a 21-year-old girl who was stone drunk just walk off into the night? I'm sorry about what happened. I really am. But I pour drinks. I don't claim to have the answers to everyone's problems. I think she met someone here. Someone who followed her. You're protecting someone. I swear on my mother's soul that if I had any idea who was involved in this, I would tell you. You have a tough job. No one is saying otherwise. But you don't have any right to take it out on me. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Why are you stalling us, Aguilar? You're making yourself a suspect. All I tried to do was help. And you come in here, into my bar, and you start asking me these questions. What's your shoe size? What? I, I take a broad nine. Wide feet. Just picked fruit market. How many slices of lemon does this place go through? That business is booming at the Just Pick Fruit Market. They're delivering all over the city. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal. Just making deliveries. From where? Just Pick Fruit Market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Fine. Thanks. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place, officer. No tell him where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. You mind if I get on with this, buddy? Excuse me. Okay, I'll uh, go then if we're done. That all you need from me? Excuse me, would you detectives? Do you mind if I get back to my bar? You waiting for someone? <laughs> you think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three, Phelps. And no big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself to the experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broad the night she died. Maybe the regulars, too. We should check it out. The lady visited the El Dorado not 12 hours before she was killed. It's got to be worth working the place over. Go on. Ask the bartender if he was working last night. Search around. If Antonia was as messed up as we hear, maybe she left physical evidence as well as witnesses. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. The fruit guy's getting away, Phelps. We can't come back to Donnelly empty-handed. If this guy walks, 
will have to hang it on Maldonado. So now who's about to get picked? Come on, Phelps, wrap it up so we can raid this bozo's hooch supply. Come on, Cole, let's get this pervert. Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. The handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. We could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Sir, I'm to... Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. She looked like she was having a good night to you? Eh, hard to tell. Might have just been the booze that was making her seem maudlin. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. She was brutally beaten soon after she left the bar. Clem, you sure you didn't drive her somewhere? What are you suggesting? I run an honest establishment, and I'm trying to be helpful. Do I deserve this kind of treatment? Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up, and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Something bad happened to her, Clem. And so far, we have her husband as a suspect, and you. Give us something that will make us go away. Me? You think it was me? Do I look like a violent man? I think she came in here to call a cab. Even though she was drunk, she was reluctant to do it. She just wanted the phone. You had to push it further. What are you talking about? How can you make up these lies about me? I think you should go now. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. What about a charm bracelet? No, can't say I noticed that. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh... Look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. We recovered some of Mrs. Maldonado's personal items from this area, Clem. The last item we found overlooked this place. I think you're lying, and if you want our help, you better come clean with us. Oh, you think I'm some kind of nut job? That I did something to her, me? What proof have you got? I have a store to run if you're quite finished. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Do you mind? I got to get back to my fruit store. Hey, I answered your questions, okay? Hey, maybe you got time to stand around, copper. I don't. You see that stuff? This is our guy. Let's go get him. Hold on a second. If he hasn't run yet, we've got time to check the evidence. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Why cut someone who is already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. You must have seen it during the war. Wrap it up, Phelps. It's only so long he's going to leave us in here with his souvenirs. Clem! You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. So, the fruit market was the last stop off Antonia made. Let's go. We have traced Antonia's movements to the fruit market. We've got to follow the trail, Phelps. Let's go. The greengrocer would remember the girl if she came in here bombed. Ask him. This kid sells bananas for a living. What has he got to hide? Search the place, Phelps. 
Go, Phelps, get after him. That's it. We're done. Cut this motherfucker. He's finished. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind him that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. An affront to our way of life and our Californian dream and a chance to deliver some retribution. Are you not believers, lads? Homicide men are the right hand of God. You need to back out of here slowly and take a long, hard look at yourselves and your methods. Ask yourself what you are prepared to do to put these creatures behind bars. It's the streets for the two of you until I can find some forgiveness for the foppish behavior you've been exhibiting. Now, lads, what am I to do with you? I give you a perfectly good murder. A case any homicide man would be happy with. 